supposed to do that once he gets his posture. Get a wedge. He gets a wedge, right? And now he starts looking to pop the feet open, right? And he gets to his combat, combat stance, right? Now he can look for his passes, right? For me, as he's doing that, like he gets any of this, what am I looking for this whole time? A connection. Of? Two on one. Two on ones, one. right? If he reaches back with that arm, I take two on one on this arm. Foot to the hip, get my control, right? So, you know, because this is where our submissions are gonna show up, right? And this is what we're gonna start adding today, is thinking about how to, to shoot our submissions off of these controls. Does that make sense, right? Cool. So now let's talk submissions, right? So we're going to talk, you know, from here first, right? He's got his posture. I get my two on one. I get him down in here. So now once I get here, I want to start what we call a dilemma. I want to start setting him up for one submission and his defense to that submission is going to give me a different submission, right? So no matter what he does, it becomes the wrong answer. Does that make sense? All right? So since I have his arm and I have two hands on it, what submission makes the most sense for me to go after? An arm bar. An arm bar, right? In fact, the arm that I'm controlling, right? So I go foot on the hip and I'm pinching tight, right? This one comes up and I, I chop him right here. Now I can bring this over his head and I can look for this, right? <clears throat> so. What he's gonna start doing to try to defend is he's gonna try to get his arm back, right? So as I start doing all this, if he pulls his arm back, I just switch to a two-on-one on the other side. Now what do I have? Triangle. Because we have one arm back, one arm forward. Anytime I see him like this, with one forward, one back, I want you guys to think triangle. Make sense? So he could be, he could have his posture, he could be getting his wedge, he might start reaching back with one arm, right? And he's here. I still get my controls, I can shoot to my triangle. All right, anytime he's staggered with his arms, I want you to think triangle, All right? If he's even with his arms, and I get my two on one, now we're thinking arm bar, All right? Does that make sense? Yeah. Right? So, if he pulls the arm back and I get my two on one, which leg am I shooting up? Your left leg. My left leg, the one of the same side of the arm he reaches back with, right? What I'm trying to do is put the, the back of my knee against his neck. Right? I'm trying to chop it to get my triangle. Does that make sense? Yes. On my arm bar, my whole goal is to get my hip lined up with his elbow. That's why as soon as I get my two on one, that's what I do. I don't really care where his hand is. It doesn't matter if it's over here, over here. None of that matters. What matters is, is his elbows lined up with my hip. If his elbows on my hip, I have the arm bar. So now I just control it. I reinforce it by bringing my leg up. This just gives me more control, makes it harder for him to pull that arm out. Right, even with just my legs there, it's hard for him to get his, his arms back. Right, I have the two on one, now it's my arm. Right? <laughs> you know, so now I cut my angle and I can look for the finish, right? So today, I just want you guys playing with this little dilemma. You can, I still want you looking for sweeps. The person on bottom can win by sweeping or submission. Right, person on top wins by passing the guard. Yeah, so bottom person, you don't have to worry right now about them attacking you back because in most kids' tournaments, you can't do leg attacks anyway. So when you're inside the full guard, you don't have any attacks really there for you. You have to pass their guard to start looking for attacks. Make sense? Mm -hmm. All right. So what we'll do, yes? Yeah. You get to go with one of the coaches. Yay! All right. So, um, so we will do what we normally do. But we'll pair up. One person inside the full guard. One person, you know, one person on the back. Right. Bottom person, you're looking for the submission or the sweep. Top person, you're looking to pass. Think about this dilemma between the arm bar and the triangle. Right. I want you really playing with that. Yeah. I'm trying to set those things up. That's going to build our options into a whole bunch of other attacks as well. Okay. Cool. Let's do it. Three, two, one.
question. Problems you're having. That's... Yep, no, we got it all perfectly figured out. Is it you who now they see it inside you? Or do you? No, I do a mouse stay from full bar now. Alright, so then we're going to go to lockdown. <clears throat> See if you guys remember this. So my jump, when I have the lockdown and double unders, what am I trying to do? I'm trying to move him, right? Um, you want to get some control? <laughs> you want to yeah. Eventually, See? maybe. I'm trying. I'm trying to move him, right? I'm trying to whip him to start seeing if I can get a sweep. If he posts, then I do what? Do you go back? I go right? back, and I can go where? Dog fight. Right, the dog fight, right? Dog. <laughs> All right. If he if he gets a wizard on me. <laughs> yep. If I'm here and he wraps around my arm with his arm. Right? And if I can elevate him here, I can just pinch his arm with my elbow and I can roll him right over. Oh. And end up in the middle. End up in side control, right? Does that make sense? Remember this? Yeah. Alright? So I whip him one way. If he if he can't post, we get the sweep immediately. If he does post, we go back the other way and we come up to dog fight and we hit the sweep from there, right? So we're just going back and forth. What if they don't get do away? Do we just have to immediately take that? <laughs> yeah. So if I come up to dog fight, right? And I whip. I come back. I come up. There's no wizard up on his back. Nothing stopping me from taking his back here, right? Not yet. <laughs> We're still working on the basic skills for lockdown. Once you guys get those done, then we'll add subs to it all. Right? There's so, a lot of subs in there. The big key here for the bottom person is when I'm moving him, are my feet on the mat? No. Right. I'm not doing this. This does nothing but get me flattened and passed. Right? I use I have a two on one on his leg with my legs. Right? We're just working two on ones with our upper body. I now have a two on one with my lower body. I want to keep that and use that to move him. Right? So don't let go of it and start pushing off the mat and doing all this. Because he's just mm -hmm. Make sense? Alright, top person. What's the first thing you're trying to do? Get under Free your leg. Get under back. flat. Alright. Once he has me flat, what's next? Pass. Pass. Get your leg out. You need something first. Sweet. Oh. I still have double under Head and arm. Head and, and arm control. Alright. Now that he has head and arm, now he can look to unlock his foot. And now you can look to pass. Yeah. Right? But you can't pass until you flatten them and get head and arm control. Make sense? Remember all that now? Alright, so. So we're going to set it up lockdown, bottom person sweep, top person pass. No subs right now, right? Probably, what did you say? Oh, you all can only pass and sweep, no submissions. Awesome. And what position are we going from? Lockdown. Okay. So you know what we're doing then? Yeah. So you don't need to ask me a question? No. Okay. Awesome. Let's grab a partner and set it up. Three, two, one.